Warning, this video contains spoilers about the part two of the Captain Blue Balls event, the last five riddles. If you don't want spoilers, stop the video, save it for later, and come back if you get stuck. Now, if you want to know everything about the last five riddles, keep watching. What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadow Gun Legends. In today's video, we look at the last five riddles for the Captain Blue Balls event. They were added yesterday. It took me a couple hours to finish everything, and I gotta admit, I did get a little bit of help in the chat. I did it on the live stream. The riddles this time are a bit harder to find uh, compared to last week. They're not so obvious. So let's go with riddle number six. And once again, if you don't want spoilers, stop right here. Come back later if you get stuck. Maybe you're gonna have more fun finding out yourself. But here's riddle number six. Pirate riddle six, solve the riddle. You are on fire, man. Let's keep going. Don't be shy. Bask in the huntress's glow. When you add more strings to her bow, build her an arsenal of every shape and size. Pile them up and receive your prize. So it doesn't say much, but it talks about a female character. And there's not that many uh, in Shadowgun Legends build her an arsenal who the hell deals with weapons in this game and she's a girl it is willow so what you have to do is sell weapons to willow and it can be anything and when you claim the riddle it's gonna have a count of 24 so you have to sell 24 weapons to willow the quick and easy way to do it is go to willow and buy a bunch of green uh, pistols the pistols are the cheapest to buy so if you don't want to farm dungeons and collect a bunch of weapons and sell them, if you have the cash, you can just go to Willow. It's like 12, 12, 13,000 credits to buy pistols. So you buy them five at a time and then you just sell them back and then buy five more and sell back. And it's going to take you a few minutes if you have the credits. Maybe 200,000 credits or something should be enough to do the job. And then you can move on to the next riddle. So riddle number six will give you another sticker 1500 fame and 50 pirates gold to buy the rewards in the shop riddle number seven now it says okay amico this riddle go like this so listen up hunt for a treasure loot hidden you guessed win when you measure every tenth chest shit i never was no good at this william shakespeare stuff so again it doesn't say that much but it talks about hidden treasure hidden loot so we immediately taught hidden chest so we thought maybe we just have to find hidden chest in dungeons or at the end of the arena and uh, we did just one uh, voltaic fist dungeon and we didn't get anything so we thought maybe it has to be arena chest but then uh the the important word here is every 10th chest you get something so if you check your medals and ribbons there's another hint there what do you get for opening 10 chests or 10 hidden chests there's this ribbon called treasure hunter ribbon every time you open chest is gonna count toward this ribbon in every 10th chest you will get a ribbon so the riddle for pedro is as soon as you get a ribbon you get the riddle now, when you start your riddle, maybe you're just one chest short of getting your ribbon. It's, it's going to only take you one chest. But maybe you're 10 away and you need to open 10 treasure chests. If you do it with friends, the fastest, the easiest, quickest way to open chests, definitely, in my opinion, Brothers of Fire Dungeon, because there are four chests. The three hidden chests and the fourth chest, when you beat the boss, it also counts as opening a chest. So altogether, three-man squad four chests to open if you do the dungeon a few times what we did is uh, as soon as one of us had his ribbon he stopped opening chest and let the other squad mates open the chest so pirate riddle number seven will give you a paint can of the pirate party or is that the name pirate party the red and black one it's my favorite of all uh, and yeah you get more as you keep going 75 pirates gold and more fame now let's go to pirates riddle number eight Solve the riddle, only a few more to go. You know your skills are in demand when you kill the torment hand in hand with a partner. Like two important parts, hand in hand with a partner, not many partners. You can share the strife, save his ass, you'll have a friend for life. 
So it definitely talks about working in co-op. Some guys got confused because of saving his ass. Uh, some guys talk maybe you need to revive your friends a few times. Uh, when you start the riddle, you'll have a counter and it says seven. And no, it is not about reviving your friends seven times. It is just about completing seven co-op missions. So the fast way to go, grab a friend and get in a squad and do a bunch of blue operations. It's one minute, one minute and a half, two minutes maybe. Uh, if you go for the easy ones on the first planet, it's really fast and really easy. For finishing that, you'll get another paint can and 75 pirates gold and more fame. Now riddle number nine, we nearly there man. This one's a shorty, kaboom and kablam. What beautiful sounds. The torment are flying and dying in mounds. Again, doesn't say that much, but it does say kaboom. And to me, kaboom means explosion, explosion kills. So we didn't know for sure, do we need multi kills? Cause it says they're dying in mounds, means many kills with explosions. And it end up is just get an explosion ribbon, explosion kills ribbon. I'm gonna show you real quick. Explosion kills ribbon is get 25 kills with explosions. So there's a lot of things you can use. Rocket launcher is the best for explosion kills. Grenades will work. Uh, Rocket man in the active skills also is counting as explosion kills. Uh, maybe I forget something, but definitely rocket launcher, guys. Get Just grab a rocket launcher, go in the arena, and spam rockets. We did it in Brothers of Fire, and maybe you're just a few kills away from a ribbon as you start. Or maybe you're 24 or 25 kills away, but just grab a rocket and something else. If you have grenades, go with rocket and grenades, spam grenades. If you have your rocket man, just grab rocket man and, of course, rocket launcher. And yeah, just spam until the ribbon pops and that's it. Super easy and not that long. Finishing Riddle 9 will give you another paint can, 150 tokens and 2000 fame. Now last one, Riddle number 10 says fight against other guns of shadow. You have to fight other shadow guns. That means PVP pretty much. It doesn't say much more, but it says make sure you're packing lots of ammo. You must hit them again and again to win. It's all about damage and their armor is thin so definitely pvp i don't know yet if it works in 1v1 or only team pvp because i did it in team pvp i didn't try duels but then you would wonder maybe do you need to get many kills or do you just have to deal damage well when you accept the mission you're gonna have a, a counter 17 something so a thousand seven hundred damage you have to deal in pvp uh, but the fastest way I would say team PvP because you have more opponents to shoot at you don't even need to kill them You just need to do damage. So bring your skills bring your weapon. Just shoot at people You don't need to win you doesn't matter if you don't get lots of kills it doesn't matter if you die it doesn't matter if you lose Just shoot people and at the end of the battle you'll see your counter go up Maybe you're gonna need a few games to get the damage done, but then you're done. This is the last mission the last riddle, riddle number 10. And the reward is the crossbone stickers, 2000 fame and 150 more pirates gold. Now, different opinions about the event. Uh, some guys are disappointed about the rewards because we don't get more rewards at the end. Uh, maybe would have liked to have a treasure at the end or uh, special rewards, you know, for completing all 10 riddles and finally getting to the end and get something special. Because for the rewards, uh, I'll show you Pedro's shop, but there's nothing else. Like some guys, like most people on the first week, there was the emote for 700, the pistol, and the hat for 20. Um, so if you already got everything, you didn't really need to farm. Like just the riddles, they pretty much give you enough tokens to buy everything, right? So now the the event is over. I still have like 700 tokens. And I got nothing to do. So maybe it would have been nice to have some cans or, or you know, repeatable stuff to rebuy with your tokens. Like in Christmas, uh, if you collect a bunch of bells, you can buy more paint or something. Not that I want that, but still at least you can spend. Uh, the other thing is maybe if you already bought the pistol and you have leftover, well, you can still check the, re the refresh in the shop, sorry, every six hours. And then if you see a good roll, it's easy to rebuy and try to get a better one. We still have maybe six days left till the end of the event. 
But yes, I know some guys are disappointed, but at the same time, I really enjoyed this event. It was something to look forward to, waiting for the next riddles. And not just about how hard or easy the riddles were, because I've seen comments on social media. It says riddles were, were easy and it was not much of a riddle. If you can read, you can solve. Uh, to me, it's not that much about solving the riddles. To me, it's about they give me like different stuff to do. If it was not for the riddles and the event, I would probably not have gone with my rocket launcher and my rocket man try to get the the, the kills. Uh, I never opened the chest in Brothers of Fire. I just rushed to the bus. So they give me something to do and I have to go out of my way or play a different way just because, yeah, the riddles tell me to do something and I want the rewards. So... Honestly, it was fun. It was a lot of fun for the past two weeks. We're looking forward to the riddle, talking about it. Play with friends also. I never do co-op. So today uh, I had to play with Pandora and we did some seven co-op missions. I would not have done that if, if it was not for that. Uh, same thing for Team PvP. I never play Capture the Flag almost. And today I got to play two or three games of Capture the Flags with some friends. And we did have some fun. So... I, mean, I don't know, guys. I, I see a lot of negativity. And um, if you guys disappointed about rewards, one thing I can say, look forward to next week's event. Because they said on my stream, we're going to get an arena event next week. And we will have two new legendaries. So like we had two weeks ago, the dungeon event, we had to do it, super easy challenges and short. Play one volt, play one hive one quick vault one quick hive and that was pretty much it but they added two legendaries one in vault one in hive right so we still had to farm to get the legendaries it was not just about the event the event was just uh, a reason to play these dungeons right so next week we'll have to play arenas and we don't know yet it could be one legendary in gold and one in bronze or one silver one bronze but still the missions would probably be just play arenas and play fast arenas, but the farming to get what you need. My buddy Lorewolf needed to do 81 Voltaic Fist to get the pistol. So sometimes the luck is not always on your side. can be hard to find what you're looking for, but hey, uh, it's not just about the rewards. It's about having fun, and I did enjoy. So anyways, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped. If you enjoyed, leave a like. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.